So in this video, we're going to have a look at an example now um, and applying the limitation for the retirement fund contributions in order to calculate the deduction that the taxpayer is going to get from taxable income. So I just want to remind you at this point that we are doing part of the taxable income calculation. So in a longer question, or if you're helping a taxpayer with a taxable income calculation, I just want to remind you again that you will have included all the gross income amounts, exempted any income that is exempt in terms of the specific sections. You would have deducted the other Section 11 deductions and the assessed loss. Um, you would have added taxable portion of the subsistence allowance and the travel allowance and you would have added the taxable capital gain at 40% inclusion rate. And so now you get to taxable income before retirement fund deduction and what we're going to deal with now in the example is the deduction that's allowed for income tax purposes of the contribution that the taxpayer has made to a retirement fund. Okay, so I've um, put up an example for you. Um, it is uh, on the PDF slides available for you. And what I want to suggest is that you go and have a look at the example first. And actually, why don't you stop the video and see if you can do the example by yourself and then work through it as I work through it to see if you understand the limitation. Okay, so I hope that you have done the um, calculation yourself because if you don't do it yourself, you won't know what you understand and what you don't understand. Let's have a look at the information that's given to us for this example. So taxpayer earned a remuneration package during the current year of assessment and the package includes a basic salary as well as employer contributions in her name to a pension fund. Over and above the employer's contributions to the pension fund, the taxpayer also made their own contributions and um, they made contributions to a retirement annuity fund. You can assume that the taxable income before taking the retirement fund contributions into account amounted to 157,905 Rand and this included a taxable capital gain of 5,000 Rand. So the question asks us to calculate the deduction in respect of the retirement fund contributions for the current year of assessment. So now remember our steps that we did. The first thing that we need to do is to calculate the total contributions that the taxpayer would like to deduct. So first of all, the question tells us that the taxpayer contributed to a pension fund 8,000 Rand. The taxpayer also contributed to a retirement annuity fund, 12,633 Rand. And I've just taken all of these from the example. And um, lastly, the employer contributed to the pension fund, 11,229 Rand. So that gives us total contributions of 31,862. Now remember, you also need to look and see if there were any contributions that weren't deducted in the previous year of assessment, and you would add the, those to these total contributions. And this is what the taxpayer would like to deduct. So you can't ever deduct more than what the taxpayer contributed. Remember, you have to have paid out the amount in order for it to be a deduction. So let's have a look now at how the theory of the limit will apply. So we've got total contributions of 31,862 and it's limited to the lesser of. The first amount is 350,000 Rand that's given to us in the Act. The second limitation is the percentage limit. Okay, so let's do that percentage limit now. The Act says it's 27,5% of the higher of well, first of all, remuneration, in this case, it was given in the question, 175450. Um, in some instances, you'll have to calculate that yourself, and you will have had to do the study unit on prepaid taxes and um, know the definition of remuneration. Please remember that your remuneration is different to gross income. There's a specific um, inclusions of certain amounts, and it relates to employment. The second part of the percentage limit is that we must look at the taxable income 
um, including um, capital gains tax, but um, excluding any lump sum. Sorry, I see this word sum is there by mistake. And that in this question was 157,905 Rand. So we need to look at what's bigger of those two. Well, obviously, remuneration is the 175, and we then calculate 7, sorry, 27,5% of that amount. And we get to the second limit being 48,249 Rand. And then third limit is the taxable income before any capital gains tax. Okay, so this question didn't have any lump sums, but the question did tell us that there was an amount of 5,000 Rand included in terms of capital gains tax. So we need to minus that to get to the taxable income for the third limitation. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do then is to work out between those three amounts um, and you'll see all that I've done here, if I go back to the previous screen, I've just taken the three amounts um, of 350,000 Rand, the percentage limit that worked out to 48,249, and the taxable income of 152,905. And I need to say, okay, so what's the lesser of those three? And the lesser is obviously the 48,249. And um, that will therefore become the limit. That's the most that the taxpayer can deduct in the current year of assessment. Which means because the contributions are 31862, that they will be able to be deducted in full, which the taxpayer will be happy about. They won't be limited. In fact, if you were advising that taxpayer, you would tell them to increase their contributions to retirement funds because they could get a, big, a bigger benefit for taxable income purposes if they can afford to, to do that. What I want to look at now is let's just change the example and say, what if this taxpayer had contributed 50,000 Rand in total to retirement funds, including the employer's contribution? Would the deduction change? Well, certainly remember the limit was calculated to be 48,249. So that means that only 48,249 can be deducted from taxable income and not the full 50,000 that they contributed. And it means an amount of 1751, which is the difference between what they contributed of 50,000 Rand and the limit of 48,249. That'll be carried over to the following year of assessment and added to the contributions in the following year of assessment. Remember, if that happens, um, if you're doing a question, you need to indicate that amount and to show us that you know it will be carried forward.